everyone it's your girl ty and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to apply lace front wigs and how to style them and just how to make them look really nice and cute and natural and how to make them look poppin <laughs> so this is for beginners it's all my girls that's been asking me a bunch of questions about the colored wigs i've been wearing and how to put them on um, I'm still a beginner myself and it's super easy. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. If you guys wanna know how I put this wig on from hair spells and how I styled it and made it look super cute, then just keep on watching. Okay, I look so funny, but the first thing I did was I braided my hair. I'm not a good braider. I only know how to Dutch braid. So I didn't even bother recording it, but I just braided my hair in two French braids back and then I took the French braids or whatever kind of braids I did. And I took the braids and I just crossed them behind my head and just went like this and bobby pinned it. And then the next thing you wanna do is put on your wig cap, just like this. This is, I think I got this from Sally's. Um, just get a, whip, a wig cap that's close to your hair color. So then after that, you just wanna make sure all of your baby hairs are back because you don't want um, the wig to rip off your hair or anything like that. After that, I'm gonna be going in with a Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray Hairspray. And pretty much this is going to lay your wig cap. Now, I just started wearing colored wigs about a month ago. So this is probably like the hardest part for me because sometimes it just doesn't wanna lay right, but you just spray this close to your hairline and just kind of blend it in with your finger so that when you go apply your wig, it looks like your hair. much sprayed your whole hairline you're gonna to want to let this dry all the way I've watched some videos and I've seen um, a lot of people go in with like two or three layers of this so you can do that but I don't plan on wearing this wig for a long time I'm probably just gonna take it off after this video but um, you just want to let this dry completely before we move on to the next step so once this dries I will be okay so you want to make sure this dries completely it's really important that it's completely dry and if you plan on wearing your wig for like a long time I would go in with a couple layers of this but one does enough so then you're gonna take some scissors and you're pretty much just going to cut the wig cap and cut along your forehead so it's as close to your hairline as possible. And I'll move the camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna try to cut the wig cap so it's as close to my real hairline as possible. Up, up half down or like tucking behind your ears you kind of want to make sure your real hair isn't exposed if you're using a colored wig um, you want to make sure like the wig cap is covering your hair but every time I wear this wig I always do a middle part or I do a side part so it doesn't really matter but you want to make sure you get the wig cap cut as close to your hairline as you can. Okay, so the wig today I'm using is this bob wig. I think this is in 12 inches, I believe. But this is a bob wig from um, Hair Spells. It was a 613 bob wig. Sorry, <laughs> that was disgusting. This was a 613 bob wig. It looks kind of dark on camera, but in person it's like bright ass pink. I did the watercolor method. I used, um, the Color Jams Bubble Pink, Bubble Head Pink Semi-Permanent Hair Color. I used a little bit of this 
Well, I used this at first because I kind of wanted more of like a cotton candy kind of pink. But when I used this, it was like a light pink, but it was like fuchsia and I wasn't liking that. So then I went and I used a little bit of the same brand and I used Wild Red. And I got this color in person. This is a really bright pink. Um, it's very bright. I really wasn't going for this color, but I do like it. So what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and try on the wig, see how it looks with my wig cap, see if I need to make any adjustments before I start gluing it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on really quick. So I just went ahead and placed the wig on my hair or on my head to see how it's looking and how I want it to go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the wig and I'm just going to flip it back like this just so I can get the hair out of the way. And I'm going to go in and use the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. It's like a hair gel. And pretty much this is what's going to keep the wig onto our head. Okay, after you apply the glue to your forehead, you want to give the glue like five to 10 minutes um, and wait for it to become tacky. You can use a blow dryer if you'd like to speed up the process, but you wanna make sure it's tacky before you try to apply your wig because if not, your wig is just gonna slide off. So when it's tacky, it'll stick better. So. Just wait for it to become tacky. You'll be able to like touch it and feel like it's tacky and then stick into your finger. And then once it's do that, once it does that, you are ready to apply it. So I'll be right back after my glue is tacky. Okay, so I gave my wig some time to get tacky. Now I'm gonna flip her back over and I'm going to pretty much stick her down. Like that. You want to make sure none of the hair is in the way. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a rat tail comb like this. And you're going to want to take the end of your comb and just press that down. And you don't want to use your finger because using your finger is going to make the... It's going to... <laughs> using your finger is going to make the hair stick to the glue and you don't want that. scarf and this is just going to make the front part of the lace actually stick down to your hair and secure it so I'm gonna go and take my scarf and make sure my wig is all laid down and I'm just going to take it and just go around my hair it doesn't have to be perfect And you kind of want to tie it, tie it pretty tight. And you want to let this sit on your hair for like 10 minutes. So, now I look crazy. I'm just going to let the scarf sit on my hair for like 10 minutes or so. And then I'll be back. Same comb. And I'm just going to go in and make sure none of the hair to the glue. Okay, so now that my wig is, you know, nice and secured, I'm going to go in and start styling it. So, I'm just going to straighten this wig.
go in with this Glossing Polish Frizz Eliminating Shiner. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this in my hand. And I'm going to use this on the top of the hair where I have those flyaways to lay those down. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of my spray. Spray it and then take a brush and brush it down so I don't have flyaways. Stuff I like to do is I like to go in with this little brush and I have to go in with my foundation and just take a little bit of my foundation on the brush. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love this wig and I loved how it turned out. So yeah, if you guys have any more comments, questions, or requests, leave them in the comment section below. As always, follow my social medias. I always put them on the screen and in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video.